Okay, so let's talk home training equipment and what you need to get started. Now, for our training program, you only need body weight or maybe some things you have around the house, but the more options you have, it's going to give you a little bit more variety. We can have more loading options, all that kind of stuff. So I want you to start thinking about building out your home gym over time, but don't let that be the limiting factor to getting started. So some quick and easy things to get, because as you I've probably seen right now getting equipment or tra home training equipment is super hard and everything's marked up right now. So um, something you can get right off the bat, go to Home Depot. I call this my Home Depot starter kit. You can get a four pack of four foot bungee cords, which can obviously be like used as bands and you can layer them over to create added resistance. So, you know, bungee cord for those of you that don't know what that looks like, something like this has the little hooks at the end of it. Like I said, you can layer these things on top of each other. They're great for a bunch of like smaller movement patterns. So you could still add a bunch of variety for things like bicep curls, triceps, pullovers, pullbacks, all that kind of stuff. Bricks are great. So smaller bricks, something like this size, about five or six pounds. So these are great for smaller muscle groups as well. So if you can't get weights or dumbbells or anything like that, these are a great option. There's a bunch of different size there. Super cheap as well. Cinder blocks. Cinder blocks can be anywhere from like 15 to up towards the 35 pounds. So Another good option there. Now, when you're using something like bricks or cinder blocks, you might want to pick up some all purpose gloves. Again, you can get those from Home Depot for anywhere for like 10 to 20 bucks. Just a full glove on there, good grip on those things. Just kind of like, so it's not as awkward because of the cinder blocks kind of break up a little bit, but uh, super simple things that you can get just to add some loading variations. You can front load things from a hinge pattern or like a squat pattern by holding that weight. Those odd objects are nice and challenging. A broomstick or a PVC pipe is great for your mobility or overhead work. Now you can get that whole Home Depot kit for like anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks if you get there. So no excuses. They usually have all that stuff there too. So you can order it and usually pick it up online. Now, other things you might have around the house that are phenomenal, um, a duffel bag, backpack, or suitcase. You can always load stuff in there. I would also put like a cooler, like a bigger cooler in this bucket too, where you can like easily add stuff to it and add a little bit of load on there for things like rows. A computer chair or skateboard actually is a good replacement for something like an ab wheel. An ab wheel I'm a big fan of. We do that a lot in the gym. So you can use that. Anything with wheels on it will be a great replacement for that. Kitty litter or dog food bags. Now, kitty litter, I know you can get a 42 pound, pound, pound bag of kitty litter that's very dense and it's about 13 bucks, right? So you can add that to your duffel bags or backpacks as added load if you want, or break it up into smaller bags and where you can tape it up and then use those as load. You can weigh them out in 10 pound increments if you want. Dog food bags, I know anywhere from 25 to 35 pounds. They're kind of awkward to hold, so it's a great piece of training equipment as well. One thing I'm also a really big fan of is one to six gallon water jugs, and usually they have a handle on it. Now the handle is cool because it's almost acts very similar to a kettlebell. Now, when the handle, when you're holding the handle and the water bottles on the outside, you have that offset handle, much like you would on a kettlebell. If you tilt it upwards, now you're balancing that load and the water makes a, like a big stability challenge. And so it's a, so 20 pounds, like almost seems like 30 to 40 pounds when you're trying to stabilize that water floating around in there. So great options there. Things like small stools or ottomans or chairs can be great. So I would use an ottoman a lot of times for a back for my either pressing or sometimes like a pullover movement. So you don't have to do it directly from the floor. You can use things, you would use it for things like hip thrusts. The stool or chairs can be used for things like lunges or step ups. You could also use that as essentially your bench as well. Now I've also used the backs of chairs as almost a, like a lat pull down pull up type situation where you're focusing on the end range. Now you can see some videos on that. You could also use those chairs as assistance for squatting or hinging exercises, especially those single leg stuff that require a little bit more balance. Now, other ideas that we've seen, laundry detergent, canned goods, coolers, again, all of those things can be used for like lighter loads. Also nice to haves, right? It will be your adjustable dumbbells. I highly recommend power blocks. I'm a big fan of those. They're my favorite adjustable dumbbells. Really quick and easy to swap out. The ones that have the adjustable weights where you have to unscrew everything, take it on and off, it's kind of... It works, but it's a pain. You can't really like superset exercises as conveniently. So power blocks, if you can get your hands on those are great. They used to be around $300 on Amazon. I'm sure there are a lot more now. If you can get one to three regular dumbbells or kettlebells, that would be great. You don't need much. Guys, I would recommend anywhere between 25 to 50 pounds. Most of my stuff at home, the max weight that I have, I think is 53 pounds at home. And I've done 
a lot of things with all that stuff. Uh, ladies, I'd say anywhere between 10 to 35, maybe 40 pounds for you. You can get a lot of stuff done there. Uh -huh. Bands of varying tension, if you can get your hands on that, would be great. You could use those things for like deadlifts, rows, tricep extensions. Uh, a doorway pull-up bar is great. I, I think they call it like an iron gym. Uh, you can attach it to, you do pull-ups. You can't do pull-ups. You can attach bands to it and do your lat pull downs, tricep extensions, all sorts of variations there. And then another thing that I found pretty helpful is I've used my slingshot from Mark Bell. Now you could use that for, um, normally we would use that for like the bench press or push-ups, right? Because basically, if none of you have ever seen this, it looks kind of like this. It goes up around your biceps. And then basically what it, what it helps with is what we call accommodating resistance. So as you load the slingshot, um, it's taking load off of whatever movement you're doing. And then it kind of essentially slingshots you up. And so you're accommodating a larger load as you go through that range of motion. Now, what you can do is if you put it on your arms and pull backwards, it acts as like a resistance in a row pattern. So you're actually like the, the slingshot goes here, you're pulling your elbows back. So you can use it as a horizontal way or a horizontal row pattern where we're loading that. So if you have one already, use it. If you don't necessarily have to buy it, there are plenty of other options there. But like I said, all of this, this program can be done at home with just body weight or things around the house.